Okay, we are back here. It is 6.32 p.m. on a Friday, um, right before Christmas. So it's the gym's not too busy at all here. I think everybody's just kind of enjoying their Christmas here now. But me and S. Mori are here, closing it down. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a, a nice back workout in. Um, I don't really have a full plan of like how I'm gonna, which exercises I'll be doing, but as we go through, um, I'll see how I feel. But I definitely want to focus more on my rhomboids and like thickness of back and middle back traps. Um, I feel like my lats are on the stronger side, so uh, I want to just get like a thicker back. So we'll definitely start off with barbell rows um, for sure. I got my belt here as well, so we'll put that to a test. I got my pre-workout and that's it it's another day we've been grinding all week i've been uploading all week and uh i got my pre-workout back though so i'm gonna feel a little bit of tingles looking forward to that uh, oh, that tasted good Pink, a little bit of pink Himalayan with pre-workout, like a sour gummy type of pre. Mm. I was going through my uh, YouTube channel's ideas that I have written down on videos that I want to record, um, the topics that I want to talk about, and um, I think I have a good one for you guys because there's so many different things that have happened. Um, or are happening that I almost forget about it. So I think just having like this down on notes of like what I th things I think could be useful for you guys to hear. Um, and one of them is a hundred thousand dollar mistake that I made second year into a business. So as we get into a workout, we'll talk about that more. But for now, we're gonna warm up, do some mobility work as always stretch things out i'm so sore now i'm probably gonna take a rest day tomorrow after this so I'm, I'm gonna try to go hard today really push myself the sore back and the rest of my body my legs are done my chest is done my shoulders arms so uh, maybe i could do arms tomorrow so this is gonna be my first working set i did a warm-up with the bar and then a plate and uh, i'm gonna try to do this without the belt for the first set see how i feel my last week, she all week's workouts, like the first set, I've been trying to push it the most, but then I feel like I get a little distracted. Not distracted, a bit more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Exhausted, a bit more exhausted faster. So uh, I'm gonna try to do like less reps than I think I can do and then save it for the next set and see how many I can push for my second set. I want that to be like the, the real set I go hard on. So that being said. So that first set felt pretty good. For the next one, I'm gonna try to put on this belt and add a 25. See how many reps I can get with that. Just gonna add 25. Okay. Tip. That completed the first exercise. Did four 
or five sets in total of the uh, barbell rows. So I'm feeling good. I got tons of blood flowing. My pre is kicking. And we're moving on to this, which is the cable. I have a wide grip cable attachment here. And it kind of like goes out so I can really like squeeze it back in as well. <clears throat> but yeah, it's just another day trying to get it done. As I was saying earlier though, about making mistakes in business and how I made one a couple years into business that almost put me out of business. And uh, it was a collection that I was still new into designing products and understanding like what sizes sell more, what colors sell more, what designs are popular, all, all that stuff. So I saw there was momentum, we're getting sales. So I'm like, oh, let's just go bigger. Like maybe let's just add more colors. Like let's just order more of everything. But that necessarily isn't the right thing to do. It wasn't the right thing to do looking back at it because uh, I went too big. So I ordered 13 colors, all sorts of fabrics, not knowing like the trends and what was hot during that time, what season it was. And then also not really finalizing the designs itself either like not fully loving them but just like all right like sure let's do this and uh not even really understanding like okay these are my current customers what sizes are they buying uh what's selling more what's not and let's what size to add which to take out i just went big in everything so a mistake i made early in the business that literally <laughs> we probably held that stock for like a year and a half because some of the products just like the color wise and even the designs just weren't working they didn't pick up as i wanted to and uh, the lesson here is that you just can't make mistakes big enough that are going to put you out of business <sighs> Oh, you guys are just gonna out angle me. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and, and there's two of you. Fuck. <laughs> Bro, we just hit a new PR on the bench. I seen that. What, what was that? Uh, 255 and 245. Shit. Oh, very close in strength, too, eh? Yeah. That's good though, you guys are working together, so it's like kind of motivates each other. Today, yeah, but he, but he wins, eh? <laughs> For now. For now. that left here and then I'm gonna move on to some freeway area and do uh, reverse rows on the bench with a couple of dumbbells I feel like I got a good squeeze in my rear delts even and then uh, my lats lower lats inner back so lots of rows today <laughs> I'm gonna drop this. I can't take this off. There we go. To our first working set, I put 75s there. See how many reps I can get, but I'm gonna start to add in partial reps for sure here as I get more tired. We're on what one, two, a third exercise. Probably do a couple more, maybe two more. Some forearms, the Sam Suwick forearms, and then that's it. <coughs> 
Just thinking like, okay, on that story, how does one know when they're starting out not to make them, or if they're making a mistake like that? And like thinking on it, I think if I were to look back, what I could have done differently is just always go smaller in the beginning and get the answer from the market first. So by that, I mean like I should have gone to just like four colors. I would have done, I would have looked into or I should have looked into the reports a bit more of like what sizes are selling specifically and order more of those. So I don't, not just getting too excited and just, sorry, let's just go all in mentality. Cause I think as an entrepreneur, that is something that you always have. Like, let's just go all in, all in. But at some point you have to start to like calculate of what's worth going all in. And if a smaller amount of risk is better here. Let's see if you guys did make a mistake that big, like how I did, how did I recover from that? Well, the answer is I didn't have a choice. So it really comes down to a zero options mentality. Because sometimes in the moment you think this is the right decision and you want to go all in, then I mean, by all means, if you're capable of recovering from that, then who's stopping you? But either way, I still suggest to go a little bit smaller because it's just a safe, safer thing to do and the market will tell you what's working. This gym is that example actually. Like the facility is 6,500 square feet and it's a new business that I went into. So even though, okay, sure, I know like I have 10 years of training experience or whatever, but at the same time, it's the whole operation you're running. So I split it in a way where the front end, like 35% of that space, it's taken by our clothing. So we open, ended up opening up a retail store. It's something that I already knew was working and we had local customers and we've tested this. So it was a safer thing to do. And the backside, 4,500 square feet, we're like, okay, let's test this out where it's enough risk we can take financially to test it out and if it works we'll scale from there and thankfully with this learning from my past mistakes it worked out very well because now we're close to our member cap and we're thinking of the second location and when i do do that the time is ready i can go a little bit bigger <laughs> Rope pullovers or whatever for my lower lats. And then it's my second last exercise. I'm gonna go to the lat pull downs after. Use one of those ergonomic grips. And that's gonna be the end of my back day. Um, I'll do some forearms at the end and then uh, some cardio. And that's it. That's my Friday night. A couple days before Christmas. This is what we do. Nothing changes. Whether it's Christmas or it's a New Year's or it's my birthday or whatever, it's very hard for me to actually like check out from this space, from first health. Even if I'm not here, I'm always working on something. And yeah, like I have an unhealthy obsession with this and I don't care, but I feel like to succeed the way that I want to, where people like, I don't know, Ben Francis, Andy Frisella, like Christian Guzman, all these guys are, you have to be absolutely obsessed with your craft to get to where you want to go. And I don't have patience, I'm sorry. I think a lot of you can agree that we all don't have patience. We're always surfing. We're always looking at something. We always want the new dopamine. But 
my dopamine is right here. Get a nice meal in after this. I have nothing cooked, and my meal prep service is sold out. Mm. Would crush a pizza right now, though. I'm on my last exercise here. I got the ergonomic wide grip up here. So I'm gonna do the first working set and then, th sorry, first warm up set and then three working sets. Uh, and that'll complete the back workout. Let's finish this. <sighs> There's three official sets left and we're done. Can't wait to hit forearms at the end. I want a good forearm pump. But as I was doing this set, I thought like, okay, so like are all mistakes that you make, even if it's that 100K, 100K mistake, like is that bad? What happens after? But I feel like, I feel like everything that you do in business or in life is gonna teach you is gonna teach you something and that's what all really matters. If you're able to come get over that mistake, then you clearly learn how to manage that mistake. Um, maybe you never do that again because it took everything out of you to get out of that, but you just don't have to make that mistake again and you you learned and this is info that you take to the next chapter of your business. So as long as it didn't put you out completely, you haven't really lost. What's up, Nick? Uh, oh. Yes, sir. Well, that's not like you. You're like right at eight. No, I'm usually like eight. I leave the house around eight. Uh, true. Yeah, I've been mad late these past few days. So you're early today. Yeah. What's up, bro? No, no, that's not you. As soon as you put your bag there, he ran, bro. He's like, he said, nah, nah, are you using nah, this? Nah, yeah. He's got like the smallest bobby pin on it. Like this was mine. <laughs> he left an eyelash. Yeah, on. he left an eyelash on it. Like I was using this. <laughs> Get into the first set here. This is a exercise I saw straight from Sam Sulek to build the forearm. So I lock my elbows in here. And I'm really just gonna squeeze this down like that. Ooh. 
Okay. I just finished it off this workout with the last set for my forearms feeling good my back is good got a bunch of sets in a bunch of tension in my forearms are pumped I might even do like a little physique update in the locker room we'll see I'm starting to feel a little bit leaner now so we'll see what the status is so at least I can track for the next few weeks of what I'll be looking like from now to then No, that's it. In the locker room here, I think I want to do a little bit of a physique update, see where we stand currently. I'm gonna move this mic up here. Nice striations are coming out a bit though. That's it. This is where we stand. Slowly burn more fat so I can get my core a bit tighter. Lose a bit of this. So I'm gonna do a bit of cardio. Keep that up and you know it's still winter time so I'm not in a rush to get super shredded. It'll keep most of my muscle. So everything is done. Kill the workout. Got my little story out, got a pose check, and uh, we're doing our thing. If you made it this far again, thank you. I guess we'll see you in a couple days. Merry Christmas, peace.